Hey, what's going on everybody? DroidLife.com here. Just going to bring you a quick tip today which has to do with your default or your stock apps. Um, you know the apps like your home launcher which would be this one or your browser um, or your YouTube app, things like that. Um, what we want to show you is just how to get access to those. And I'm not talking root access, I'm just talking how to get access to clear defaults that are involved with them, or if you need to force stop your browser for some reason it's running in the background, killing battery, you know, things like that. Um, a lot of you I know have been having issues with um, you went ahead and installed the launcher from the 2.1, you know, Nexus build and then you played with it for a while realized it was a little buggy so you uninstalled it and then a couple weeks later you decided you wanted to use it again but you'd already set this home launcher as your default so once you installed that launcher you weren't getting prompted you know to use it so this is how we get around that okay so I'll show you really quick I have I'm gonna go into applications here and I'm gonna show you that I have the launcher installed. Okay, so you see I got the launcher installed there and I have no defaults associated with it. Okay, so basically I'm showing you that my home is the default here. And you can see if I hit the home key down here, I'm not getting prompted for anything. Okay, so how do we do that then? Well, we go back into settings and we go into applications, we go into manage applications. Um, and what we do then is we go options button and we go ahead and filter and we want to see all of our applications. Okay, so now it's going to show us every single application we got on there. You can see the alarm clocks on there now. Anything you could want, like Android system, all that stuff. So now what I'm looking for is my home app, which is what I have set as my default. And there it is. Okay, so that's not going to show up if you haven't filtered and shown all of your apps. Okay, but if I go in here now, and sure enough, there's defaults. Okay, so if I click clear defaults, and I'm just going to back out all this and go back to my home screen. Okay, so now if I go ahead and hit home, there we go. Sure enough, I got prompted for a launcher. Okay, so now I can go ahead and click default if I want, set this other launcher as my default launcher. And that's really how you get around that. So quick tip today really is just showing you how to gain access without rooting your phone to all of those main applications, your stock applications like your browser and the alarm clock and all that stuff in case you've set up defaults or you need to force stop one. So if you got questions, comments, concerns, as always, leave them at the YouTube channel or at the blog, which is droid-life.com. And we're out. Peace.